told you about a Woodlawn man who was arrested after he was caught on camera hitting a couple of dogs with that shovel. Do you remember the video? Well, one of the dogs was severely injured. Fox 19 Now's reporter Morgan Parrish joins us with some new developments. T. Anthony Wagner appeared in court this morning for his plea hearing, and right now he's still out on the same bond of $7,000. We didn't think that he would ever walk again. Um, but yeah, so he, yeah, he started to walk. Back in September of 2022, 42-year-old T. Anthony Wagner was charged with one count of prohibitions concerning companion animals and one count of injuring animals. Today in court, Wagner asked for this case to be set down for a jury trial date. Take a look at this graphic video. You can see Wagner leaning over a fence and swinging a shovel at two dogs. According to court documents, Wagner first leaned over the fence and tried to grab the dogs by hand. After being unable to do so, he then walked to his garage, grabbed the shovel, and began swinging it, ultimately leaving five-year-old Chihuahua Pablo laying lifeless in the yard. My heart just broke because I love Chihuahuas. It's like my heart. Any dog, I would have been upset, but just to see him laying there in the yard, um, and then just seeing the videos of him at the hospital, like just not like not even there. It was really hard to see. Maria Labono is the president of Proud Pups Rescue, an organization that handles special needs cases. Once seeing this video, she hopped on board to help and transported Pablo to MedVet. He got diagnosed with a traumatic brain injury and he also had all kinds of swelling in his face. Um, so he stayed there for a few days. Um, and then once he was a stable enough, we brought him home because I stay home full time. So we figured, you know, I can give him a little bit more care. The road to recovery hasn't been easy, but Maria says Pablo is making vast improvements and has also now found his forever home. He could not really walk. He would just scoot himself around. You know, once that trimate, his brain started to heal, um, he started to try to stand up. I was like, well, I just want to see how he does on the grass because it's a little bit different traction. Um, and he started running like very wobbly, but he was running and I was like, oh my God, this, this is so awesome. Wagner's pre-trial date was set for May 22nd and his jury trial date was set for May 30th. Of course, we are staying on top of this and as soon as we get some new details, we'll be sure to bring you the latest. Back to you. Morgan, thank you. Take you outside.